Okay, welcome everybody today to River Meadow Software's webinar with Sirity. Um, today we are talking about um, cloud migration as a service, um, which we are delivering through the Sirity channel um, for you to leverage to your uh, end user customers to help automate them, get a faster path into uh, your cloud offerings, if you will. Um, what River Meadow is, is we're a cross hypervisor uh, workload portability solution. Um, so we make it very easy for you to be able to move your customers' um, existing infrastructure, servers, um, if you will, into your cloud environments that you're offering. Um, our a brief agenda today is we're going to give an overview to show how easy it is to automate migrations. We'll explain a little bit about positioning River Meadow in a sales situation. Um, we'll talk about the targets that we migrate customers into. Um, obviously, we're focused on the VMware platform, so we're going to focus on, on that discussion today. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how to size an opportunity, a use case uh, specifically around a Serity reseller partner um, that has been successful in using Serity and River Meadow uh, with one of their customers in a project. And I, I will show you a demonstration of the product, a live demonstration of going out to the portal, navigating around, showing you how easy it is to use, and, uh, and whatnot. So today, it's going to be myself primarily doing, uh, presenting to you uh, uh, through the, the presentation. And then I'm also joined with, by uh, Ames Abbott, who's our Director of Business Development, and is the primary contact between Serity and River Meadow. So real quick, I'm going to do a few slides to talk about the market and the opportunity, but I'm not going to get into too many details and bore everybody with too many, too many slides. We'll get into the, the, uh, the portal and using the product pretty quick here. Uh, but just real quick, you know, why does River Meadow exist and, and what's the market opportunity? Um, since 2000, we've had kind of a scale up in terms of environments that compute exists in. Uh, we started with physical environments in 2000. Uh, in 2001, we virtualization came into play with VMware ESX. Um, in 2006, we added a layer in of Zen with cloud. And then by 2010, um, we got pretty complicated with going from physical to virtualization to cloud environments. Um, today, primarily, it's uh, VMware ESX, I, and AWS. Um, but Microsoft, Hyper-V, and OpenStack are gaining pretty good traction in the market. And the reality is, is you know, individuals or companies are looking to um, want to move their workloads from one environment to another, and there's really no easy way of doing it without automation. So what River Meadow offers is an automated live migration platform. Um, we move pretty much any physical, virtual, or cloud x86 workload, server, whatever you'd like to refer to it as, um, into a target hypervisor cloud environment. And there's a couple of environments that we support, but again, um, what we're talking about today is obviously a, a VMware-based environment. And the other key thing is that we do it live. Um, so the servers that you're looking to migrate or the workloads you're looking to migrate can remain <clears throat> online during the process, and they do not need to be taken out of production while that's happening. So how does River Meadow SaaS work? I mean, what do you really want to know? So we're a cloud portal. We're very easy to get to. It's migrate.rivermeadow.com. Uh, getting an account provisioned is very simple. You work with Ains, uh, who will work with our support team that will help provision an account. Um, provisioning the account is just a couple pieces of information. We put that into the system. You get an email. You click on a link. You finish the registration. Um, you purchase a subscription to River Meadow, and we have a fairly uh, we've got, it's based on time, it's based on quantity, and it scales, um, and we can talk more about that as you have projects that come up. Um, and uh, it really just takes a few minutes to get set up. So why River Meadow SaaS? Um, migration is very difficult. Traditionally, uh, it's a manual effort uh, where you're needing to go in, you're needing to look at the servers that you're migrating, you're needing to do some engineering work on them putting them in templates in the source or in the target environment, um, and then doing some engineering once you move it over, because once you turn it on, in the manual effort, it's 
not going to work right away. So what River Meadow is aimed to do is automate that process and a number of different steps um, that go into it so that it's very seamless and um, can happen in a very efficient manner, if you will. Um, again, there's no downtime um, other than a small cutover window um, when once you're ready to, once you've moved over, you've tested everything, everything's working correctly the way you need it to, so you have a small change window, but it's a huge value proposition that we offer. And why are we so cool? So uh, we've gotten some really good feedback from various customers uh, and channel partners. Um, we've worked with PCM. We've gotten feedback where we reduce, you know, the amount of time in terms of the migration by 70%. We work very closely with VMware. Um, they're a very close partner of ours. Um, the feedback internally um, from their sales representatives has been that it's made it a lot easier for them to go into uh, opportunities and to sell their customers on moving into vCloud Air or vSphere or private vCloud environments. Um, they do offer tools um, that allow uh, customers to migrate into VMware environments. Um, however, they do fall short, and that's admittedly so from VMware, and they look at our tool as a kind of a leap forward, if you will, in terms of getting people into their environments. Uh, what do we support today? So from an end user profile, it's really, again, physical, virtual, any cloud that you want to move from into the two environments that we support. And again, really what we're focused on in this conversation is VMware, vSphere, and vCloud, and then uh, uh, vCloud Air, but really it's, it's vCloud. From a use case perspective, um, it's P to V, P to C migrations, hypervisor upgrades, uh, converged infrastructure deployment. Um, the targets that we're focused on are ESX with vCenter, vSphere and vCloud, and then, and then vCloud Air. And obviously it's, it's the IaaS that you guys are offering um, that we're, you know, automating that process into based on VMware. So a case study, um, we recently worked closely with Serity and one of Serity's uh, reseller partners, uh, much like yourselves. CAM Business Solutions. Um, they had a legal services uh, end user customer um, that wanted to take advantage of the desktop as a service solution um, that was offered through their white labeled solution. Um, in, in doing that, they had some challenges from an ROI perspective and being able to bid on it as a smaller player that when River Meadow came into play, made it a possibility for them to bid on the project, win the project, and get their customer into their cloud environment um, with an ROI that made a lot of sense for everybody. So it was a legacy-hosted Citrix-based solution running on Windows infrastructure. It was 12 servers um, running kind of a mix of Windows 2008, 2012, ranging from 400 gigabytes to six terabytes. Um, the client wanted to move immediately. It was a very short window of opportunity. They needed the ROI to be there. And once they were able to find a solution like River Meadow, uh, Cam Business Solutions was able to bid on the project and successfully win that and give their customer the opportunity to take advantage of the desktop as a service solution, which was ultimately what they wanted to do. And at the end of the day, what we always like to talk about when it comes to cloud migration, it's not about what we do, really, at the end of the day. It's about getting the solution that you're looking to get to. We're just a means to an end at the end of the day. And we take the friction out of the migration, um, and we bring it down to a level where the ROI makes sense for a lot of your customers. And so that's really what we're bringing to the table here. We automate all these manual processes that we've worked over the last four years to, you know, focus on and, and make sure that, you know, we're trying to take that manual effort out of it. And so that's really what our platform does. Um, let me jump into the methodology real quick. Um, so from a methodology standpoint, and then after this, I'm going to get into the live demo. Um, so we'll just really quickly talk about this. So. River Meadow offers the opportunity also to migrate at scale. Um, so 
instead of having to do one, two, three workloads or servers kind of independently, um, we actually offer a solution where you can move tens, hundreds, thousands uh, of, of servers at the same time in a very, you know, button-click type of environment, and I'll show you what that means. So how it works is um, we have a software as a service. We set up a cloud environment. We drop down what we refer to as a cloud appliance. That cloud appliance goes into the target data center. Um, it will reach over and it gets a few points of information from the service. And once it gets that, it will reach over and it knows what servers or workloads it's looking for in the source environment. Um, it will reach over. All it's doing is grabbing some very basic level meta information. So uh, type of server that it is, is it Windows 12, 2012, is it a Linux edition, um, what, what uh, uh, disks are you trying to move over, but nothing secure at this point. Once it grabs that information, it sends a message back to River Meadow, which then creates what we refer to as a target worker. That target worker then does all the heavy handling. We drop that target worker down into the target data center environment and that's when we start leveraging that secure private network that's already set up. So we aren't creating any additional connections. It's everything that you've already set up on the back end beforehand. That target worker then comes in. It then reaches over and grabs the data from that server. And really what we're doing is we're creating a hot clone of it while that server or that workload is in production. Once we've got that hot clone, we bring it over. We then convert it to run in the target data center environment, so the new platform. And this is all through automation. Once we've done that, we then deploy it as a organic-based workload running in that new environment. And again, when we talk about migrating at scale, uh, you could have 5, 10, 15, 20, 1,000, 10,000 workloads that you want to migrate at the same time and we'll create a target worker for each of those workloads, drop them in, and reach over, grab them, and deploy them in your new target data center environment. We also can do multi-source migrations. Um, so it's not just saying, I've got this one environment that I'm moving from, and I want to move that in my target data center. You could have uh, source data centers that exist in Azure, it could be in AWS, it could be in Google, and you can move them all over at the same time. And that is also true for an app stack. So you could have a scenario where you've got uh, an application stack that consists of a web server, an application server, a database, and you need to move those over at the same time in order to contain that application and have it running um, successfully in your target environment. And so we can do that as well. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move out of the presentation and I'm going to go into the fun part, which is the actual portal. And so let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log out just so you guys can see. So migrate.rivermeadow.com is the portal that's you go to, you get credentials to log in. Um, once you get the credentials, it's very simple. You just sign in. Um, you would have purchased a subscription for your customer or for your business that you will leverage with your customers. And so you'll have a number of migrations that you can use once you get into the portal. There's really two things to focus on when it comes to a migration. It's the target cloud environment. And so you'll go in and you'll set up your target cloud environment by simply clicking on Add New Target Cloud. Um, there's a few clouds that we support, obviously, we're focused on VMware environments um, for this conversation. Um, I would simply select vCloud. I could give it a name. I can give it, I have to put in my cloud URL, uh, my username, uh, my organization, and password, and then I would click Add Target. And what River Meta would do is it'll go out over the internet and it will find that target cloud environment and set it up as a depository that you can put workloads into. From a, a source standpoint, which is the second thing that we focus on, is what I refer to as my source library. Um, it's not an official term, but it's where I add sources that I'd like to migrate into my target cloud environment. And I can do it a couple of different ways. I can do add new source and do it on an individual basis. 
and I give it a source name and a description. If I feel like doing that, I provide the IP address and then the login credentials. Once I've done that, I would click Add Source. RiverMeta will go out and will find that source and will add it into my library. And then I'm in a situation where I can migrate that source into my target cloud environment. So I've obviously already set up my target cloud environment. I've got a couple of sources in here already. Um, just to show you, this is a Google Cloud um, virtual machine that I have here. And I have this. Um, running here. So here is my Google Cloud virtual machine, 162.222.179.138. And when I go back to my library, I can see that I have 162.222.179.138 already set up in my library. So I want to migrate this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, check that off. I'm going to click Migrate, and I'm going to select my target cloud environment. And once I do that, I'm going to click Confirm and Continue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run what we refer to as Attribute Collection. So this is where we're going out to my vCloud environment, and we're picking up a couple of pieces of information about my target. And on the source side, we're going to go out and look at my Google virtual machine and collect a few pieces of information about my, my source environment. And once I do this, I'm going to be able to continue, and the next screen we'll get to is going to be our migration plan. And so we'll hold on for a second here and let this happen. It'll take us uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, attribute collection is completed. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And now we are taken to what we refer to as our migration plan. Migration plans are plans that are set up that you can always go back to in the future if you want to do a migration for that server or set of servers um, in, in the future. Um, there's a couple of things that we can go through here. I can give it a name. I'm going to leave it alone right now. I can schedule to migrate it now, or I can schedule to migrate it later. So if I want to migrate it later, I can pick a day and a specific time. And the value of doing that is there might be a specific time period that's more advantageous to migrate that workload, maybe in the middle of the night when network traffic isn't as heavy or whatnot, or it could be other different scenarios that um, make sense for the project. Um, and the nice thing about it is you can set it and walk away. And River Meadow will go ahead and do the migration, come back, everything's been moved over, then you can do your testing and whatnot. You don't have to sit and watch it. Um, we have a couple of options here. You can do global settings, where maybe I've got you know, 50 workloads that I've uploaded that I would like to migrate at the same time. We do have a bulk upload option um, where you can import a CSV file that you can export from a couple of different discovery tools like Risk Networks and, and whatnot um, where you've done analysis and created move groups or whatnot. Um, so we do support that. Um, so I can do a global settings where kind of everything has the the same settings when I do the migration, or I can go in and I can do an individual basis on each server that I'm migrating and check off various um, uh, features or functions that we offer um, during the migration. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this uh, a name. I'm going to call it Scott Google App. I could check off the various storage options that I have. In this case, I just have the, the one, but you might have multiple drives that you want to migrate. Um, I could configure a destination, network adapters. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click Confirm and start the migration. And we do have one other feature that I want to hit on, and I don't have any, anything in here right now, um, but we have what we refer to as migration extensions. Um, when you migrate a workload or a set of workloads, we provide the option to upload a binary asset, which could be a script or an executable, something that you would want to have happen on your target environment servers once they move over. And a very simplistic example would be, I want to install antivirus on the workload or all the workloads that I'm moving over um, once it's moved over. And what we'll do is we'll run that post the migration process and have that happen to all the servers or workloads once they're there. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click confirm and start the migration. <clears throat> we run what we refer to as a pre-flight. We're doing some checks and balances to make sure everything's been set up correctly. And there's new, no nuances that we need to go back and correct before we do this. And everything looks good. And so now we have moved into what we refer to as the migration and the details page. So this is my summary page. You can see that I've migrated a number of workloads from various sources into various target environments. Um, we're waiting for our Google um, Linux workload to migrate into my VMware environment. And that's already kicked off. We're now in step two. I'm going to jump over, and we've got what we refer to as our details page. And on our details page, we can see all the different steps that we're automating during that process, from creating the image to injecting the target worker image. Um, the, the long pole is always collecting the data or creating that hot clone, if you will. And, uh, and we'll go through all of these processes and automate them, and eventually they're going to end up in my target VMware vCloud Air environment for the sake of this demo. Um, I'm not going to sit here on the, the WebEx and, and go through the whole process. It will probably take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but what I will do is I'll show you what a completed migration looks like into the same environment that I'm, I'm migrating this right now. And you can see what we've done is we'll go through all of these different processes and successfully finalize and get that workload into that data center um, and have that up and running and, you know, make the, make the move from your customer's existing environment into the new environment that you're supplying them with for whatever reason that is because they want to be able to take advantage of Ceridi's offering that you guys are offering for um, infrastructure as a service, desktop as a service disaster recovery as a service or whatnot. And again, that really at the end of the day, the value proposition is what you guys are offering and simply just getting your customer into that environment so they can start taking advantage of the solutions that you guys provide. And so I thank you for your time today and um, would look forward to having any reach out that you might have um, to Ames. And I'll go back to a slide here and I'll just put that up real quick and show you how you can reach out to us. It's Ames Abbott, aabbott at rivermeadow.com. Uh, Ames phone number is here. Ames is located on uh, the East Coast in the Boston area. Um, and um, we are certainly looking forward to working with you guys going forward and, and helping you with your customers. So thank you for your time today.